Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Little Reptiles, and I told you guys this month you're going to be watching a lot of cutting videos. Well, it's time for another one, and if you look over here, you're going to have another one filmed and then another one filmed. So, just ease in. Settle in, guys. Lots of snippy snippies going on. Uh, this one in particular is going to be a firefly female bred to a calico male. Again, we're just looking for some firefly calicos. This is to make cool shit that I think is going to be pretty. It's not... Obviously, this isn't like earth-shattering new genes. Or, you know, we're not doing a whole clutch of Kryptons, which we just did that. Uh, we're going to be doing, you know, but we want to do it kind of all over the spectrum. So these are things that I really like what Calico does with Pastel. I really like what Fire does with Pastel. So it would seem I would probably like what Fire, Pastel, and Calico all three do together. So with those seven eggs, it's time just to kind of dive right in here and see what we got. Again, seven laid, uh, seven are there. And I don't know if this video is going to post before or after the one I just did, but I want to make a correction. When we were doing the two clutches of uh, the possible Krypton clutches, or cryptic clutches, I guess it would be Krypton as we're using Clown, um, I said, oh, we had four out of five eggs. That was because I was too lazy to look at my notes. We actually had four out of four eggs and three out of three eggs. Uh, we did not lose an egg in that clutch. What we had had is an egg I marked as a slug, as a probable slug because it didn't show any veins so I set up to incubate and obviously ended up being a slug so I tossed it. So that's why there was the things in there in the spot for it. But we actually didn't lose one. Although I promise you clutches were coming where we have. So I've probably thrown, I don't know, half a dozen eggs out of the incubator over the last month or so. So, um, which isn't bad out of 40 clutches. We're still going to probably be at our 95% hatch rate. All right, let's get to snipping. And again, we're looking for calico... Fireflies. We're looking for no normals. Come on. No whammy. Big money. No, when your scissors are sharp and they go back through the eggs, you pull up a little too hard and it's not a bad thing, I guess. As soon as I say no whammy, big money, first thing is going to likely be... Well, that is not looking too promising from what I can say. See, uh, that guy's is, well, right there, maybe... It's hard to say until it comes out 100%. I'm seeing a little pink there in the side, so we might actually have a calico. I just look at the top half right through there and right through there. But we also could very well have just a normal. We'll know when that's out. But we're not off to what I'd call a banging start. So let's keep on a snipping. It's all right. Normals need love, too. Such a weird angle to cut. <laughs> so that's looking at least a little bit better. Right there. I mean, that ain't going to be our shattering either. But there's at least some kind of gene in there. We're probably looking at a pastel, maybe a fire. Probably not a pastel fire. <laughs> Looks more fiery from there than pastel. It's not quite as bright as I'd expect a pastel to be. But it doesn't look like the last one we just cut. So, come on, y'all. Let's show me some combos. You can see on the head right there, so that's certainly got fire in it. Uh, does it have the calico or anything like that? I won't know until it's out, but that's... And you can see the color I was talking about very similar to this one, which is why I'm thinking that one's probably fire and not a normal, but that's a fire. That's a fire. So, fire, fire, normal. <laughs> ah, excuse me. So far, we're not lighting the world on fire. But if you were going to suck at the odds on a clutch, this isn't a bad one to suck on, I guess. Oh, excuse me. Oh, things are laying kind of funny, but I think it's okay. Hard to say there, too, but not looking too crazy. Probably another fire. So far, the fire's coming through strong.
Now this has calico in it. And this is one of the things where I say it's hard to kind of see when you're in the egg on the calico because some of the coloring is going to come into later. You can see a little bit of the pink. But you see this, this pattern here? I'm going to bet we're looking at the back of the snake. And you get all that linking there. And that's where I'm seeing the calico. So I'm pretty sure here we have calico. It's pretty light, so we probably have some fire going on too. Not as much white as I see with the pastels. Probably like a fire calico there. And we may have that in here too. It's just not easy to see when it's wrinkled up in an egg. But calico, if you can see that tail, that back third, uh, it's often pretty easy to spot. That's something nobody really talked about when I first came in. They just talked about looking for white. Now that one's probably going to be a firefly. Maybe just a pastel. We'll see when it's out. But I'm not necessarily seeing calico in there right now. But yeah, good looking little snake. So, so far this clutch, but again, this is one that's going to come out before we really know what we have. But there's nothing that's been in there that's just like, oh my god, I have to have that. At least not under my world. I mean, it's not like earth shattering. But again, something I always talk about, and this comes from being a, a guy who came up in the time before Morph Market, and a guy who enjoys shows, even though I don't get to go to any anymore right now. Uh, that's Calico. Uh... And that's got calico in it. There you can already see the white starting right there. There's no doubt to me that that's got calico. You gonna move for me, little buddy? Yeah, here you did. <laughs> uh, so that's, that may have something else in it too. It may not. It may just be a calico. And it's got a little bit of a funny set to it. But this snake, unlike the last one, I was looking at, I'm pretty sure it's just the way it's setting. So I think that one's gonna be fine. Uh, but calico, you know, these kind of things here. These are things I like to have, and that's because I'm a big believer if you're going to run an operation of size and you want to go to shows, if all you ever want to do is post snakes online and sit there and have the most impersonable sales thing ever, that's, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mean to sound like I'm ripping it. It probably comes out like I am. It's just not me, right? It's not how I want to do my business. So, But if you want to go to shows and you want to like see people get happy with their snake and have some personal interaction and doing all that, then having some of these like across the board is really good. It's also really good to have some of those higher end ones. And you can sell a couple high end snakes and make a great show for yourself, right? You ain't got to sell a lot of snakes if you're selling them at a huge amount. But they're a little harder to sell than these lower cost snakes. And on top of that, these lower cost snakes are going to bring people to your table. They're going to want to look at the high end stuff, but a lot of them aren't going to be able to afford that. And a lot of them are getting their first, second, third, fourth snake. They're looking for some just projects to work with their kids. They ain't looking to spend, you know, five grand or three grand or even a grand on a snake. They're looking to spend a couple hundred bucks to four or five hundred bucks maybe. So having these things on your table for those folks makes a huge difference. And then those folks, a certain percentage of them, are going to stay in the game. And then one day they're going to want to spend two or three thousand dollars on a snake. And hey, they know you, and they're going to contact you first. We have that happen all the time. People are like, hey, I'd rather buy this from you. Do you have any of X, Y, Z? Are you going to have any of X, Y, Z? We get that pretty frequently. Uh, so it's just something to think about how you do things. I like having clutches like this. I wish we'd have had a little bit more like Firefly Calico. It was obvious things like that. We'll see what everything's out of the egg. But hey. Still going to be cool little babies, still going to be healthy little babies. Everything looks like it's good. That's the main thing. We'll be able to move those. So, Curtin, you want to add? No. All right, guys, that's all I got. We're going to switch over to Patreon and tell you the fate of these babies. <laughs>